Hi guys, Casey here again, uh, Detroit Rebuild Specialist. Um, today we're going to do a short video showing you guys how to check your EGR cooler to see if it's leaking. A lot of complaints I get from customers is that I'm losing coolant, but I don't know where it's going. I don't have any external leaks anywhere, um, but I'm having to add a gallon of coolant a week or a half a gallon a day. So this is a quick and easy way I can show you guys um, if your EGR cooler is a culprit. Okay, more than likely, when you're losing coolant and you cannot find a leak anywhere, it's gonna be your cooler. Um, if you got a more advanced problem, uh, like an overfueling injector, you might have it going in your oil pan, but that's a whole nother video. Today we're just gonna show you guys how to check your EGR cooler, all right? Um, your EGR cooler is on this side of the engine, right? But you don't actually check it here. You're gonna check it on this side where the EGR gas flows back into your intake. Okay, so we're gonna grab some tools over here. Let me show you guys what you're gonna need to do this. 13 millimeter socket and a flathead screwdriver is all you're gonna need for this job. Really, really easy. Um, first thing we're gonna do here, is zip off our three bolts. Okay, zip off your one here and your bracket. And then your clamp here needs to come off, okay? All right, now you're gonna have to use a, a tool like a booger picker to get this thing off here, because it's gonna be sealed on there pretty good. Here's your booger picker. So what you're gonna do is just take it in here. You wanna break the seal, go all the way around with it. Okay, and break that seal. All right, and she's gonna pop right out. Just take it, pull it up a little bit, give it a little pull, and it's gonna pop right out. Okay, this is your hot pipe. All right, inside here is where you're gonna see coolant. If you have coolant in there, like so, your EGR cooler is bad. No ifs, ands, or buts. There should be nothing but exhaust gas flowing through these pipes. So if you see any traces of coolant, any wetness, anything like that, your cooler is leaking. So, simple as that. That's all you gotta do, guys. Um, I'll do another video on how to replace that EGR cooler, but this was just a video to show you how to pull that pipe and check if it's leaking or not. All right, so uh, if you got any questions, give me a call. Uh, Write me a comment on Facebook. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions you got. And um, like I said, be looking for the next video where I show you how to replace that EGR cooler. Thanks.